Uh, this is Mujib from North Country Kettlebells. Today I'm going to be talking about double kettlebell swings and some of the components that go into doing safe and effective double kettlebell swings. Now a double kettlebell swing is a great way to advance all of the benefits of doing kettlebell swings with one kettlebell. We're going to be looking at all of the same components of doing kettlebell swings, so still hips engaged to power the entire movement, still kettlebells above the knees on the back swing, chest up, all those different components that make for good kettlebell swings. And in fact, we're going to try to perfect all of those components that make good kettlebell swings before getting into the double kettlebell swing. A double kettlebell swing is one of those movements that is really going to exaggerate anything that you have going wrong. So if you've been using your arms to swing the kettlebells, then the double kettlebell swing is going to expose that. Uh, if you've already been feeling soreness in the back because you haven't been engaging your glutes and your abs enough for the kettlebell swings, then again the double kettlebell swing is going to expose that. So we want to think perfecting the kettlebell swing before moving to the double kettlebell swing and then keeping in mind all of the components that go into good kettlebell swings when we're doing the double swing and in fact trying to even get better at holding all those components in mind when doing the double kettlebell swing. With that said, we always want to acknowledge what goes into swinging two kettlebells at once. So the first thing to think about is that it is double the weight. Uh, oftentimes that's just a heads up. So if you haven't swung a 70 pound kettlebell before, but you're swinging two 35 pound kettlebells, just be sure to acknowledge that that double 35 pound weight is 70 pounds. Now the flip side to that coin is that if you haven't swung a 70 pound kettlebell before but you feel really comfortable swinging two 35 pound kettlebells, then let that be a good sign of your progress and maybe the next time that you come across some of those heavier kettlebells, you can feel a little more comfortable swinging them. When we're swinging the double kettlebells, we definitely are going to have a wider stance just to make up for the fact that I have two kettlebells. So just wide enough for the kettlebells to fit comfortably between my feet means that when my hips go back, the kettlebells are also going to fit comfortably between my thighs. But you can definitely take a wider stance if that makes you feel a lot more comfortable with making sure that the kettlebells are going to get between your legs. Depending on the type of kettlebells that I'm using or the style of swing that I'm doing, my thumbs can either point up at my backswing or down at my backswing. It just depends on what my style is. But the main thing is when we're using two kettlebells, we want to think that the elbows should be fully extended at my backswing. As for the height that I'm going to swing those double kettlebells, because I might be dealing with a weight heavier than I'm used to swinging, we want to start pretty low. I still want a full hip extension, but maybe I don't really let those kettlebells swing much higher than my belly button height or the base of my sternum height. So I'll oftentimes say either hip height to chest height, not necessarily trying to go much higher than that when swinging my double swings, but if you're a beginner or if you're having an inconsistent height with those swings or if that weight feels particularly heavy at the beginning and you know you're going to get fatigued as you go and so the swing is probably going to get lower and lower as you go, maybe just start with a height that's in between hip and chest height and try to maintain that height the whole time. I'm still going to try to maintain a low rep count. We don't have to go with 50 reps or anything like that to start. Maybe I'll just start with 10 to 15 repetitions, just getting comfortable and confident with the movement, and then do multiple sets, three to five sets, just so that I can give myself a bit of a workout. But in the beginning, as always, especially when doing swings, we just wanna think about practicing this movement, perfecting this movement, and trying to be as consistent as possible with all of those components of the double kettlebell swing. Again, we wanna think about all of the components of our kettlebell swing being perfected and advancing in our double kettlebell swing. I wanna make sure to acknowledge the amount of weight that I'm using. So if I'm using two 35 pound kettlebells, I wanna at least take a moment and note that that's 70 pounds before I start swinging it so that I can either give myself a pat on the back or I can just make sure that I'm setting myself up for success by preparing for that much weight to be swinging between my legs. I want to make sure that I have a wide enough stance with my feet so that I'm not concerned with the kettlebells either making contact with my legs or my feet being too wide apart and having that swing be awkward. I either want my thumbs to be up or back at my backswing, but whatever I choose, again, I want that to be consistent with every rep. And I want to choose a height that's between hip and chest height and try to maintain that height for the entirety of my set. Try out the double kettlebell swing. Let me know how you feel about it. 
And as always with every kettlebell movement, we're focusing on safety, consistency, and effectiveness when we're doing double kettlebell swings. This is Mujib from North Country Kettlebells talking about double kettlebell swings.